Good morning, my friends. Ivan here. Happy Tuesday today. And I had one of my colleagues ask me a little bit about my morning routine, what that looked like. She wanted to try to help herself out in the morning and just throughout the day. And I told her, sure, I'll, I'll let you know what that looks like. And I figured I'd just record what I do for the sake of everybody. Maybe it'll help, maybe give you some ideas and, and help you here in 2020. And so here, here it is. This is my not just my morning routine, but I'm going to take you kind of through the, my whole day routine and a little bit of what that looks like. You know, the first thing is 4.15, my alarm goes off. So I had to kind of get myself into the mode that I was going to be an early riser. It took me uh, a while to convince myself that that's what I was going to do and, and uh, I had good reasons for it. So 4.15, I wake up and the first thing that I do is I hydrate. I have about uh, 30 ounces of warm water with uh, apple cider vinegar in there. Hydration, I think, is very important in the morning. Around 4.25 to 4.30, uh, I have what I call my power hour. I got that term, of course, from Tony Robbins. And in that power hour, I start first with uh, my devotionals, prayer, a little bit of meditation, whatever that means to you, and uh, some, some reading. I'll go over my goals, uh, I'll do things of that nature, and then I'll usually go on to my power list. And my power list is something I learned from Andy Frizzella, and he talks about writing down five things that are critical things that you're gonna accomplish that day. And basically to not stop your day until those five things are done. And the cool thing is that if you finish those five things early enough, those five critical items, then you've gotten the, the five most important things that are gonna propel you forward done in that day. And I actually have my notebook here that talks about this and I want to share a little more detail that with this because it's it's important so this is my power list you put the you put the date down and you write down your five things and then at the end of the day if you accomplish all those five things you put a big W on the top next to the date which is awesome right especially for all those those of us who like to check stuff off and if you didn't if you missed even just one you had to put a big L next to that date and that is a painful thing to do. You wanna you wanna win your days, and so that's a motivator. And it's it's kept me uh, going throughout the day, or making that last phone call, or last two three phone calls at the end, just to get that L. And then the the, the idea and the concept, of course, is that the more days you win, then you start to win your weeks, and as you win your weeks, you start to win your months, and as you win your months. Well, now you start to win the year, right? So that's that's the whole idea of a, of a power list. Keep yourself accountable to no more than five critical items because really nobody has enough time to complete more than five critical items. So that's part of that's all part of my, my power hour there between around 4.25 and 5.30 in the morning. Uh, the next thing is uh, between 5.45 typically and 6 to about 7, 7.15. And that's my gym time. And I uh, hit the gym. 7.15 to 7.30, I'm actually preparing to do my some kind of social media post. And any of you who follow me or have followed me for a while know that I'm fairly consistent. I've gone into a fairly consistent groove of posting something between 7.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. every single day. And I got that timeline and that consistency from following uh, a guy I respect a lot called Ed Milet. So I'm dropping a bunch of names here. So it's not just the routine but look up some of these people start following them also 7 30 to 8 15 i take my girls to school i always try to make it a priority to make sure I take my girls to school in the morning because during the week things are so busy and sometimes having that 10 minutes of captive time with them is is the best time that you can that you can have to ask some questions talk a little bit and then what I always do with my girls also is some affirmations. So I'll, I'll take some affirmations with them. I'll have them read a couple of things off my phone that I have written down. But one thing I always tell them every single morning before they leave the car is you're powerful, you're beautiful, you're capable, and I believe in you. And send them off with, with a blessing or a prayer. And uh, that, I think, is, is just something that I, I feel I need to do and and uh, I think it's making an impact on them and then 8 a.m. to about 9 30 p.m. I, I begin prioritizing and responding to my emails 
and different things that are coming my way that day. And then I, I prepare for my morning uh, meeting pulse at 9.30 a.m. in the office. And uh, that's usually done around 10 a.m. So from 10 a.m. to about 11.30 a.m., um, I'm focusing on pipeline management. Now that I've gotten some of those critical emails out of the way, I'm figuring out what's going on with my pipeline, who do I need to call back, what conditions are still outstanding, uh, who do I get a light of fire under and, and get some responses out of, and, and then follow-up calls and emails uh, again throughout that, throughout that time. From 11.30 or so to about 2.30, I'm doing nothing but uh, typically, unless unless something comes up, obviously. So this this is just generally speaking, right? Other things are still going to come at you during the day, but I'm doing my prospecting calls. I'm I'm doing prospecting emails. I'm spending a little bit of time engaging on social media prospecting. Some time on LinkedIn and and actually engaging some of the connection requests that I've received and asking them if they actually want to have a real connection and get on a phone call and see if there's a way for us to add value to one another. From about 2.30 to 3, uh, I focus a little bit on my email marketing. What am I going to send out that week? I, I typically send out about two email marketing or two marketing emails per week. So just figuring out the content and what, that's, what I'm going to say to people and, and what I think they might want to hear. Uh, and then that's when I have lunch also. Right around 2.30, right around I have lunch while I'm working on my email marketing. I typically never leave uh, my office to, to go to lunch. I, I usually have work through lunches and, and that, that works for me. Three to 5.30, I go back to continuing on calls, engaging more any, any kind of uh, additional conditions that I have, uh, coming up with marketing ideas. Sometimes I'll record a video. I'm gonna be doing more of these live videos as well. I haven't started doing that yet, but uh, here we are. 5.30 to 6 is, I focus on any any needed client requests, uh, some personal development, uh, either a PDF that I might have downloaded or a video or a YouTube or or something that uh, kind of winds winds up my day in the right mindset to, okay, how am I, what am I going to do tomorrow? I'm trying to trying to find ideas for, for the next day. Then from 7 to, to 9, 8, 9 p.m., that's, uh, that's time with my three girls, my, my two daughters and my wife. Uh, of course, we do dinner, prep for the next day, figure out, what, if, make sure that they got their homeworks done, and if they have any, any questions or help or they need anything like that. And then uh, from 9.30, 9 to about 9.30, uh, I try to do at least 15 minutes of reading, my before bed prayer, blessing my girls before bed and everything like that. And then 9.30, 10 o'clock, I try to... I try to get to bed by because my alarm goes off pretty early. And uh, so from 9.30, 10 o'clock to about 4.15, I try to rest. And so that's, uh, in a nutshell, what my day looks like on, on a day-to-day -day basis and kind of how I, how I order that day. The weekends are a little bit different, obviously, but Saturday I still try to be fairly productive. And, and then, of course, Sundays, worship time, time of family, and that sort of thing. And working to maintain a balance while we build and we add value to other people. And so I hope you'll take some good takeaways from my routine here and what I do on a kind of consistently daily basis, make you more productive. And if you need anything, obviously I'm available to you. I want to collaborate with as many people as possible to be a resource to one another and add value. And I appreciate every one of you. Have an awesome day, kick butt, and we'll see you again soon.